Hi there everyone, welcome back to the MVVM course. This is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Basically, we learned almost all the key concepts of the MVVM design pattern. And from now on, we just need to use them. So in this video, we will finish the sign up part that is remaining for our application. And then we will move ahead. So let's do it. And the API is already here. The endpoint is sign up and you will also use this API. And if you want to learn how to create a RESTful API, click here and you will see a detailed tutorial about creating RESTful APIs using PHP and MySQL. In this course, we don't care about creating APIs. And our goal is to learn about MVVM design pattern. So come back to the project and we have done with the dependency injection as well. And I hope you remember the rule that how we need to do the things. So the first thing that we will do is we will go to our network package and then we will open my API. And inside our API, I will define one more function, which is again form URL encoded. And again, it is a post and the endpoint is sign up. And the function would be suspend fun user sign up and you can name your function anything and again it will return us response and it is again auth response to the function we will pass field and the first parameter is the name and again the name is string and the same way we will pass email and password everything is string So this is our function for sign up and we need to call it from our user repository because repository communicates with either our backend API or local database. In this case, it will communicate with our backend API. So inside our user repository, I will define one more function and it is again a suspend fun and this time I will name it user sign up. And when the user will sign up, user will pass email of type string actually name first so first we will pass the name and then email and then password so we have all the parameters and the return type would be auth response same as the user login function and from this function we will return api request and then we will call the user sign up function and we will pass name email and password same as we did with the login. So our function for user sign up is ready. Now we will call this function from our view model. So come back to your auth view model, which is this auth view model. And from here we will call the user sign up function. And actually we can copy the on login button click function here. So just copy this whole function and paste it below. And we will change it to on sign up button click. That's it. Again, auth listener is started and we are checking email is null or empty and password is null or empty. And with the email, we will also check the name. So we need to define one more var here for the name. So we have name of type string and it is null. And actually we need one more, which is where password confirm. Again, it is of type string and the initial value is null. So we have name, email, password and password confirmation. Come back to the function that we created, which is on sign up button click. And when the button is clicked, the authentication process is started. And here we will check if email is null or empty or password is null or empty. Actually, we cannot validate it like this. So what we need to do is we need to validate the name first. So first we will check name is null or empty and we will send the message like name is required. Then if the email is null or empty, we will again send the message that email is required.
and the same way I need to put a return here to stop the execution and the same way I will do with password and confirm password so if the password is null or empty I will send the message please enter a password and then we will check if password do not match so we will check password equals to equals to password confirm and actually I need to put a not equals here so if password do not match as password confirm I will send the message password did not match okay so we have the validations once all the validations are done we will come inside the coroutine scope and we will get the auth response and this time we will call the function user sign up and we need to pass name email and password and make sure name is not null because we already checked the name so we have the auth response and if we have the user from the auth response we are calling the success and we are saving the user into our local database and we will start the home activity the activity that user must see after a successful authentication so the thing is pretty much the same as login so our function for sign up is ready but we need to go to the sign up screen from the login screen so when the user will click on this text view let me show you first so we have activity login and when the user will see this text view which is don't have an account sign up here so on the click of this text view we need to start the sign up activity so come to the xml code of this text view by clicking here and for this text view we will define the on click property so when we will click on this function we need to call view model and we will call the function on sign up or you can name your function anything now we need to create this function inside our auth view model so come back to auth view model and here i will create one more function which is fun on sign up and again it will take a view of type view as a parameter this is very important because this is a click function and passing view as a parameter to this function is necessary if you don't do this your application will crash so when the user will click on the sign up text view we will open the sign up activity which is this activity so here we can simply create an intent and to create an intent we need context and we can get the context from this view instance so here we will create an intent intent for the first parameter we need to pass the context and we will pass view dot context so this way we will get the context here inside our auth view model so the first parameter is context and for the next parameter we will pass the activity that we want to start which is sign up activity class dot java like this and then i will write also and here i will start the activity so i will write view dot context dot start activity and i will pass it now this function will start the sign up activity when the sign up text view is clicked i think this is okay now what we need to do is we need to convert our activity sign up as the data binding layout the same we did in our activity login like this so we are going to use the same view model so we can copy the data tag so come back to activity sign up and here paste the data tag and on the top create a layout tag and for the layout tag you need to paste these three namespaces so cut it from here and paste it here now put the data tag inside the layout tag and put your layout inside the layout tag so i will put this coordinator layout inside the layout tag and we are done so we converted our layout 
as a data binding layout. Now again we can use this view model to call the functions. So when the sign up button will be clicked we will call the function that we just created. So we will call this function on sign up button click. So come back to activity sign up and here when the actually the text is sign in and it should be sign up. So I will change it to sign up. That's it. Now when we will click on this button I will call the function that we created. So on click at the rate and then our view model and the name of the function. Make sure you write the correct function name. That is why I did a copy paste here to make sure I don't write some wrong function name because spelling mistakes are common. So we have the function that is called when we will click on the sign up button. And we also need to get the information or the input from the edit texts. And to do this, you remember what we did in our activity login? We did like this. So we can copy and paste the same thing. So come back to activity sign up and for the edit text name, this is for, I think this is for name and the input type is text email address. It is a copy paste mistake. So I will change it to text and I will define the text as at the rate equals to view model dot name. That's it. And the same way I will define it for the email to get the email input. So this time we have email and then we have password. So we have password and then we have password confirm. So we have password confirm. Now we are getting all the inputs and we are also calling the function when the sign up button is clicked. So everything is done. One more thing we need to do is when the user will click on the text view which is I think I need to change the text here because this is for sign up. So here I will write already have an account. So already have an account sign in here. So when the user will click on this text view user will again go to the login activity. So again I will define on click and I will define at the rate view model on sign in or on login. And you can name the function anything. And again we need to define this function and our auth view model. So I will define fun on login. Again we need to pass our view. And we can copy this thing here. So copy this intent line. And this time we will start the login activity. This is the difference only. So I guess we have everything now. And we can try running our application. But yeah, we forget to do the changes in the sign up activity. So we need to do the same thing here that we did in our login activity. So first we will get these two lines and we will implement the auth listener and code in affair and paste these lines. That's it. Now I will copy everything from login activity to make it quick. And copying sometimes leads to error as well. So do it carefully. Let's see if I make some mistakes or not. So I will copy everything actually. And come back to sign up activity. Which is this. And I will remove this line which is set content view. And I will paste everything here. And click OK and it will import everything. But this time. We do not need the binding instance of activity login binding, but we need the activity sign up binding, which is this class. And if you will get some error like this, then don't worry. When we will rebuild the project, the error will go. And let me split this line because it is too long. And here, instead of this activity login layout, this time we need to use activity sign up layout. And we are using the same view model class, so it is okay. And here we need to 
import the observer and make sure you import the lifecycle observer which is inside android x and everything else is fine i think and we need to copy some more things so go inside login activity again and copy everything from here so copy and come back to sign up activity and paste so we have on started on success and on failure and i guess everything is fine now just rebuild your project to get rid of this error so the build is done and the error is gone you can see but this line is too long this is because we imported the activity login binding here and it belongs to the same package so to defer the class it is using the whole package name so what we can do is we can remove this import statement from here like this and then delete it from here so now we have just activity sign up binding and we need to import the class with the help of alt enter and we are done so everything is fine i guess now let's try running our application to see if it is working or not so i will play the application so this is our application now let's click here don't have an account sign up here when we click here we are inside the sign up activity and if we click this text view we are back to the login activity so let's try signing up so i will write a new name here let's say some name and some email because my email is already registered and let's say password is and let's try signing up so we are seeing the progress bar and it is working absolutely fine we are inside the home activity now now our task is to design this home activity and i will do this in the next video so i hope this video is clear for you and so far you learned all the basic concepts of mvvm design pattern if you learned then please comment below that everything is working fine in your side and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye